Ready to explore the world without a worry? Discover the ultimate travel safety tips that every globe trotter needs to know. Hi, I'm Melissa here at Ready to Go, and my mission is to provide you with information and hacks so that you can efficiently plan your travels and create memorable experiences. Welcome or welcome back to all my travel buddies. Pardon the nasal voice, I have been trying to film this for two weeks, trying to get over this cold, but you know what? At some point, the show must go on, so here we are. Summer is here and lots of people are going away on vacation. Now, whether you're a seasoned globetrotter or you're planning your first big getaway, being safe while you travel is crucial. Now, in today's video, we'll dive into essential safety tips that will help you enjoy your journey with peace of mind. Now, stay tuned as at the end of this video, as a bonus, I'll show you four safety items that you may want to get for your next trip. Tip number one, safety starts at home. Now, before you book anything, research the destination, the neighborhoods you may want to visit or stay in, read the reviews of accommodations and excursions you may want to book, find out about the social norms, and while you're there, do your best to respect the culture. Now, my personal preference is to use Lonely Planet books as they really provide a one-stop shop for all of this information. And also, of course, I recommend watching as many YouTube videos as possible about your destination. Number two, alert your friends and family that you are going away on a trip and share your itinerary with them. Also, I recommend checking in with them at the end of each day, just a quick text or a quick hello to let them know all is going well. Number three, and this may be a more controversial one, but please keep your phone on. I understand people want to disconnect from work, disconnect from the world, and just enjoy their time on vacation, but keeping your phone on may get you out of a jam or help you in an emergency situation. So yes, this means getting either a roaming plan or a Wi-Fi package if you're going on a cruise. And I also strongly recommend turning your tracking on and giving two people back home your Google login info just in case. Number four, take pictures of your passport and other IDs and also keep a paper copy of them. Now what I like to do is that on the back of the paper photocopies, I like to write out the addresses of the closest embassies in the locations that you're visiting. This can get you out of a jam and allow you to get an emergency passport if ever yours is to be lost or stolen. Now, before we get to our next safety tip, if you're finding this video informative and of value, please give it a big like and share it to your socials so that your friends and family can learn from it as well. Number five, protect your valuables. Carry money and any valuables in a front pouch or a cross shoulder bag instead of in your backpack, which can be more easy for pickpockets to get to. Don't put anything of value in your back pockets and don't leave your phone on the table if you're in any sort of busy place. Number six, carry some sort of small self-defense item. This is especially true if you're traveling alone or in some sort of a sketchy area. I like to carry around a big key that I hold between my fingers and this becomes a self-defense item just in case. Number seven, try to blend in with what you're wearing. Don't wear anything that's very flashy or that may draw unnecessary or unwanted attention to you. Number eight, before you start packing, check all of your empty luggage, backpacks, purses, etc. You want to make sure there are no unwanted items in there. Now, recently, a man was arrested in Turks and Caicos for having just two unused hunting bullets in one of his bags, which he had totally forgotten to remove. So very important, please check every single one of your bags, all the little zippers and compartments before you start packing it. Number nine, carry an emergency credit card with at least $2,000 of credit available on it. Should you get stuck somewhere or you need to fly home in an emergency, this will come in very handy. I also recommend keeping this emergency credit card separate from all your other money and cards just in case they get lost or stolen. Number 10, and this one may sound odd, but please be careful when taking selfies. Now, over the past two years, there have been over 50 reported deaths from accidents happening when people were taking a selfie. This is, for lack of a better word, a stupid way to go. So when you're taking your selfie, 
look around you, make sure you're standing in a safe spot that there's no risk of falling or getting hit by anything because you don't want to take that risk just for a couple of likes on the gram. Number 11, sometimes when we travel, we meet new people, we start having discussions, everyone's very excited to talk about their experiences, their travels, where to go next, what to do, where to eat, etc. Now, when you do meet new people, try not to give out the details of where you're staying, such as the name of your hotel or too many details about your itinerary. You don't really know who these people are and though they may seem very friendly, you never know they may use that information against you. I also recommend not adding them immediately as friends to your Facebook or other socials. If they ask to add you, take down their username and add them once you're back home. Number 12, if you're in a country where the cost of lodging, food, shopping is a lot cheaper than where you come from, don't yell out things like, Oh my God, it's so cheap. First of all, it'll give the impression that you have more money on you than the average person, which can make you a target for theft. And secondly, for people who live there, that is the regular price of things. And it's based on what the average person can afford. So we want to be respectful of that as well. Number 13, and you've heard this one before, get your travel insurance. Trust me, no one likes to spend money on travel insurance, but you really do need to make it part of your overall travel budget because when the need arises, you'll be happy you got it. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'm covered by my credit card. Now, some credit cards do offer minimal coverage, but it's usually not enough. You need to make sure that you're covered if ever you're injured in a foreign country and if you fall ill and you need to be transported back home, you need to make sure that your insurance policy covers that as well. Number 14, and this is specifically addressed to couples and families traveling together, division of assets. So oftentimes in families and sometimes in couples, one person tends to become the designated carry it all responsible person. But you wanna avoid doing that. Don't carry all your valuables in the same place. Split them amongst at least two people. You may wanna also split your money and credit cards into various bags. So avoid doing the one person carries it all thing. Just split everything amongst the two of you. Number 15, leave the expensive jewelry at home. Now there are exceptions, like if you're in Dubai, flashing your bling may be a thing. But in general, other than maybe your wedding band, leave the expensive stuff at home. And one of the things I like to do when I'm in a busy touristy place is I like to turn my ring around so that it just looks like a simple wedding band. See? Number 16, a few tips on ATMs. If you need to use an ATM, find one that is in a well-lit space, preferably with no one else around. Try to withdraw your cash only in daytime unless it's an emergency, and unless you're traveling solo, try to go to the ATM with someone else from your traveling party. Now, if you're withdrawing a large sum, try to split the money into different bags or pockets, and avoid selecting any type of automatic currency conversion on the screen, as the exchange rate you'll get back home from your own bank will almost always be more advantageous. Number 17, if you take prescription medication, bring extra doses just in case your trip is prolonged unexpectedly. Number 18, if at any point during your trip you don't feel well, I found that the quickest way to get some medical help is to go to a pharmacy first. Now, depending on the country, pharmacists can actually give you certain types of medication or they'll guide you towards the quickest and nearest option, whether that be a clinic or a hospital. Number 19, for those who like to enjoy a cocktail or a beer here and there, especially when on vacation, please drink responsibly and avoid any type of illegal substances when abroad. Now remember that you are in a foreign country and in addition to the risk of getting into some type of an accident or getting lost if you're very inebriated, you may not necessarily know what the rules or laws are in that country for public inebriation. And also the rules regarding drug usage may be very different and much more strict than anything back home. 
So enjoy that cocktail or that beer and drink responsibly. Number 20, and I would say this is the most important safety tip, trust your instincts. If you feel uncomfortable being somewhere or if you have a bad gut feeling about someone you're interacting with, just leave and get out of there. So those are my 20 travel safety tips. Now, before we get to the bonus items, please share any safety tips that you may have and that we didn't mention today in the comments below. I really look forward to reading them. Okay, so now we have four bonus safety items that you may wanna get before your next trip. We do have Amazon links that are applicable to multiple countries in the description below. Number one, a portable door lock. This is an additional lock that you can add to the door of any apartment, RV, camper van rental, or even a hotel room. Number two, a personal safety siren that you can activate in case you're ever in any type of unsafe or dangerous situation. Number three, an RFID blocking passport holder. This helps to prevent identity theft and you can even slip in a few of your credit cards in there for extra security. And number four, something very important but that I find that we often forget, a mini first aid kit. So I put Amazon links for these items in the description below. These Amazon links are applicable to multiple countries and it's a great way to benefit from the usual great Amazon prices while at the same time supporting the channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do try to post as regularly as possible. So to make sure you never miss out on new videos, please consider subscribing to the channel right now and turn on the notifications bell. Now, if you'd like to watch some more informative videos to help you plan your next trip, click on the travel planning hacks and info playlist right here. This way you're always ready to go.